The first Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer to be built in the Flight 3 configuration, the future Jack H. Lucas DDG-125, has been successfully launched at Huntington Ingalls Industries, Ingalls Shipbuilding Division. It will be the 75th Arleigh Burke class warship. Arleigh Burke class program manager Captain Seth Miller said, Flight 3 ships will provide cutting-edge integrated air and missile defense capability to include significantly greater detection range and tracking capacity. Launching the first Flight 3 ship, the future Jack H. Lucas, is another important step in delivering Flight 3 to the Navy. Viewers may note that Flight 3 is the fourth flight upgrade in the 30-plus year history of the class and is preceded by Flight 1, Flight 2, and Flight 2A. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why USS Jack H. Lucas will be an important addition to the U.S. Navy. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The class is named for Admiral Arleigh Burke, an American destroyer officer in World War II and later Chief of Naval Operations. The Arleigh Burke class ships became the U.S. Navy's only active destroyers until the Zumwalt class became active in 2016. The Arleigh Burke class has the longest production run for any post-World War II U.S. Navy surface combatant. Arleigh Burke class warships are designed to be capable of performing multiple missions. These can carry out anti-aircraft warfare AAW, anti-submarine warfare ASW, and anti-surface warfare ASUW. USS Jack H. Lucas was laid down on the 8th of November 2019. She's named after Captain Jacqueline H. Lucas, recipient of the Medal of Honor. Jacqueline Harold or Jack Lucas, 1928 to 2008, was a U.S. Marine and later U.S. Army Airborne Officer who received the Medal of Honor for his actions at the Battle of Iwo Jima at the age of 17. He is the youngest Marine and youngest serviceman in World War II to be awarded the United States' highest military decoration for valor. The Flight 3 baseline begins with DDGs 125 and 126 and will continue with DDG 128 and follow-on ships. The Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyer is the United States Navy's first class of destroyer to be built from the ground up to incorporate the Aegis combat system. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System is designed by the United States Department of Defense Missile Defense Agency to protect against short and intermediate range ballistic missiles. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense is devised to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to re entry. It enables USS Jack H. Lucas to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles. The Flight 3 upgrade is centered on Raytheon Technologies and SPY-6 V-1 radar. This is a major upgrade compared to ANSPY-1. The four fixed arrays of SPY direct electromagnetic beams in all directions concurrently and continuously so the targets are tracked without interruption. The radar can be made to focus onto a single target when needed without blinding the warship against other threats. The new radar is designed to help ships 
track missile and aircraft threats at farther ranges while maintaining resilience to noise and other forms of interference. It's estimated to have a 15 dBi improvement compared to the previous generation and SPY-1 radar, or capable of detecting targets half the size at twice the distance. So roughly it's four times more powerful. This enables the radar to create a very holistic view of the surrounding, providing an unprecedented situational awareness. USS Jack H. Lucas will be one of the most massively armed destroyers in the world. USS Jack H. Lucas will have in total 96 Mark 41 Vertical Launch System VLS, divided into two blocks of 32 and 64 cells. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons depending on mission requirements. 1. RIM 66 M5 Standard SM-2MR Block 3B for air defense and anti-ship roll with a range of 103 miles or 106 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. Two, RIM 156A SM-2ER Block 4 for anti-aircraft and anti-ship roll with a range of 115 miles or 185 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. 3. RIM 161 SM-3 for ballistic missile defense with a range of 435 miles or 700 kilometers and a speed of Mach 10. It can also be used as an anti-satellite weapon. 4. RIM 162A ESSM for anti-missile roll with a range of 31 miles or 50 kilometers and speed of Mach 4. It can be quad packed in a single Mark 41 cell. 5. RIM 174A Standard ERAM or SM-6 for anti-air warfare with a range of 150 miles or 240 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. 6. BGM-109 Tomahawk for land attack. It has a range of up to 1,550 miles or 2,500 kilometers with subsonic speed. 7. RUM 139A VL ASROC anti-submarine missile with a range of 13 miles or 22 kilometers. It also has two Mark 141 Harpoon missile launcher for the anti-ship roll. Two Mark 32 triple torpedo tubes are present, launching Mark 46 or Mark 50 torpedoes. Two MH-60R Seahawk Lamps III helicopters are also present for anti-submarine warfare. Other than these, it's equipped with a long-range naval gun and multiple close-in weapon systems. Arleigh Burke-class warships have seen many incremental upgrades and have been able to include several key additions. Two other Flight 3 warships, Ted Stevens DDG-128, and Jeremiah Denton DDG-129 are also being constructed. The U.S. currently has around 68 Arleigh Burke-class destroyers and the number will swell as there is a plan to have around 90 of these. The important aspect is the Arleigh Burke-class is versatile and since they are present in a decent number, they provide a lot of flexibility to the U.S. Navy. This has a great strategic significance as the U.S. is now facing a very assertive China. USS Jack H. Lucas will certainly add to the American military's endeavor to maintain an edge against its rivals, especially with the upgraded radar system.